Well, Lori, anyone who visited the emergency department here between last August and this past March will want to keep a close eye on their mailbox this week. Letters are being sent out to any patients who were here in the ED the same time that that nurse in question was working. It's just the latest repercussion of an ongoing epidemic. We certainly have learned that healthcare workers are not immune from the opioid crisis, and it in fact impacts all of us. An apology from the hospital's president. This nurse's actions violated our organization's values, and because of this, we violated the trust we have with our community. Two patients who came to the emergency department last December later tested positive for hepatitis C, a liver infection. Tests revealed they appear to have been infected at the hospital by the same source, and investigators determined a nurse who also has hepatitis C is that likely source. Called experienced, the nurse has admitted to authorities she took medication that was supposed to go to patients. The leading theory, she injected herself before injecting the patients with the same needle. We don't know for sure that that's what happened, but we are taking action as if she is the common denominator and because that is the most common way and because she stole drugs intended for patients, um, we're being extra cautious. Hi, how are you? Opioid addiction is nothing new for Pierce County, the site of the state's first needle exchange 30 years ago. By the end of the summer, drug take-back boxes will be installed at 45 Pierce County pharmacies. The health department says preventing addiction starts by observing and taking care of loved ones. Sometimes these things start because people are hurt and they're hurting and they turn to substance to try to, to treat the hurt and it doesn't work. I think patients should be concerned but not nervous. The hospital's chief medical officer says 90 percent of hepatitis C cases are curable and the hospital plans on covering all tests and any treatment needed. We really hope that there aren't any additional cases. We won't be surprised if there's a limited number thereof. 70 percent of hepatitis C patients don't know they have the infection so the hospital says it's quite likely they'll identify some who had nothing to do with this nurse, but they of course will investigate that. That nurse, by the way, is no longer working here. She resigned last month. She does still have a license to practice in three states, but she may lose that license because she is under investigation with the state's nursing commission and also by the, uh, the Puyallup Police Department. So some criminal charges could come out of this as well. Live in Puyallup, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.